Now this is a ISSB interlocking stabilized soil block uh, machine here uh, that we get from Kenya and they're making soil blocks right now uh, for building a school. Um, what they have here is a mixture of marrow and concrete uh, at a ratio of about seven wheelbarrows to 150 kilo uh, bag of cement. They'll mix it up, add some water, and put it in the ISSB machine. And it's, uh, it's usually a three-man operation. One guy that's loading the machine and two guys on either side that are actually going to be using a fulcrum method to compress the brick. And they'll stack them. End product is sitting over here, uh, curing. So about a week to 10 days, would you say, Trevor? Yeah. Drying time that they'll cover it. They'll keep adding water to it, like if you poured uh, uh, concrete slab or something like that, they'll spray it down. Um, so, uh, you know, helps for a stronger product. And you start building the schools with it. It's the same type of machine that we'll also use with uh, uh, rainwater harvest tanks. And they're slightly curved where you can build these tanks, uh, rainwater harvest tanks to collect the rainwater and, uh, you know, put wire mesh on the outside, plaster, waterproof the inside, put a roof on it, clean out, tap, and you have, you know, when it's full, 15,000 liters of clean water. So these guys are going to have been making, uh, looks like probably seven, a couple thousand bricks out here. Putting motor oil so the brick doesn't stick. And they'll load it up in just a second. This is just a cabera or a piece of plastic that they're putting on the top and the bottom. Keep it from sticking. So they're adding the marum and concrete mixture. It looks like it has a little bit of a little bit of rock in there, which is which is good. Level it out. This also acts as a piece of workout equipment. As you'll see, this is also doubles as a gymnasium, also as brick manufacturing. So they're going to lock it down and use leverage as power. Jump up, throw yourself out, and compress it. Flip it back over. Press it down, and then you can see brick's been made. These are nice and they're interlocking so it's got a tongue and groove on both sides so you can build much faster and mortar less. About every fourth layer you're wanting to put a, uh, some mortar in there to keep your consistency but uh, other, than, other than the fourth layer you're building just like you know Legos. You can build very fast. Use less mortar. Build your bricks on site. Save money. Save trees. There's no firing required so this is a great technology that uh, Connect Africa uses that we uh, Wanda Water definitely support uh, not only for building but for uh, building structures but for building tanks so here's another one and you can see it's uh, bolted on uh, two by sixes uh, just so you don't tip it over one guy on this side one guy on that, one guy on that side and using one person loading and unloading uh, the machine and the other guys are just they're working out uh, we'll watch one more It's just compressing that brick. Sometimes you have to step on there, throw yourself out, and use your body weight. Ugh. All right, I've taken uh, beans, so uh, now we're good. Yeah. And there's your ISSB. About one bag of cement, Trevor was telling me, makes about 120 bricks. So a three-man crew, a good three-man crew, could make five, four or 500 bricks in one day. So uh, like a 15,000 liter tank takes close to 900 bricks. So a good crew can make all their bricks on site in a matter of you know two, three days. And uh, let them cure, then you're building your tank without cutting down trees. So.